Hey everybody, it's Joy. I'm going to show you how to use the uh, templates in ProSelect and how we use our um, ProSelect High Res Production Module. So the first thing you need to do is um, learn how to do the High Res Production Module. So we have a bunch of temp different templates that we use. So let's just say that we're going to make um, a template using one of these. So we would just basically drag the images in um, and I don't really worry too much about what they look like as far as cropping and such because you're going to go through and crop them after um, like this using the crop tool and then you can apply different effects such as um, like a single bevel or something like that we generally don't really use it for this type of thing like storyboards because we do um, matting at our studio so we usually don't use this but if you would ever need to or sometimes we might make like a small little um, duplicate that would be more of a storyboard just for like a dad's office or something like that that we would sell um, when they purchase a big matted and framed one so then you're going to go and add it to the cart now we don't use the cart for the actual pricing because it just wasn't working for us but um, we would just go and add it as a custom product and you're going to need to change the overall size to approximately the size that it's going to uh, be laid out as. So I'm going to change it to about 10 by 10. And just click add to order. It'll give us uh, an error because we don't have our price list set up. Um, and then you're going to hit close. So now what's going to happen is you're going to go to produce high res images and once it's in your cart you can go do this and um, you're going to see under single images there's nothing in here um, although if you had cropped and and you know done some very specific cropping with other images and added it to your cart as such you would see all the items that are in your cart here and you could go check them and you could actually just go export them and then it would do the cropping just as you showed your client um, but we're just going to use it for the high risk production module you could see um, I've actually already done a, a book layout with this particular um, session so you're going to see all the different book book layouts and I can show you how I do that maybe in another video but um, so here's the layout that we wanted to create so we're just going to check it and we're going to go say well where do we want this to end up well I'm just going to put it on my desktop so that it's easy for me to find it for right now so I'm just going to say choose my desktop and then I'm going to click um, make high res production images now the first thing that you're going to want to do though before you do that is actually go and check your setup because you can have it export a couple different ways. You can have it export at exact size. You can also have it export to the next standard size. So if it's an odd size something and you're going to have your um, lab trim it for you, you're going to want to select this option so that it's going to put like a kind of puts like a brownish maroonish border on it and then your lab will know to trim that. Um, but I always just export it at the exact size and then I can um, add you know a layer if I need to. Um, you can then choose if you want it to export as layered Photoshop files. This is what I do when I'm exporting albums because what I'm going to do when I'm creating albums is then go and put in uh, papers and maybe some different design elements to make them look a little bit more attractive. Um, so I'm going to want those all in different layers but you could also just have it go as a flattened JPEG. Um, so for this I'm just going to have it go as a layered Photoshop file and then I'll just hit save and once I hit this you're gonna see that it's gonna pull up Photoshop and it's gonna actually start creating my storyboard right for me now this is super super helpful when you're doing albums because essentially you can lay out your whole album get your pictures exactly how you want them and then um, you know go ahead and you know lay them all out produce them all and then all I do is I open them all back up in Photoshop and I just drag and drop some like decorative papers and design elements flatten it, save it, and we're done. Okay, so let's just say that now we want to um, create a new template. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go into templates and you're going to go edit templates. Now let's say that our client wanted um, two pictures here instead of three. What we're going to do is we're going to go find the template that had the three, which is the one we're going to start with, and we're just going to duplicate this and save it as a new name. So I'll just save it as version two. And then we can take this one out and we're just gonna drag this one down 
We'll just make it one square above the middle of that one and we'll drag this one up. Make that one one square below the middle. And now we can save our changes and we're going to have an image, um, a template with two. Now let's just say that we wanted to create one where it's going to be, be a holiday card and it's going to have one of our designer templates. Um, you can see in whenever I buy a new template set, I will actually go through and recreate or um, you know create them into pro select templates so that I could just drag and drop them. You can see that here's holiday cards and we've done this with lots of different things like um, mini album templates and things like that. So what you're going to do for that is you're going to go to edit templates and this time you're going to create a new template. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to put it in group um, 32 and I'm just going to call it, we'll just call it 5x5. Five five. And I know for my lab that press printed templates for 5x5s five are 5.25 5 by 5.25 5 square. So I'm going to hit apply changes. And now this where the little teal is, that's where um, your image is going to end up going. So what I want to do is actually apply an overlay and an overlay is kind of like a tattoo that's going to go over the top of your image. So I'm just going to make this smaller so that it's easier for me to see it. And then I'm going to click on my overlay image and it's going to pull up. These are all different types of overlays that I have already have either I've purchased or I've you know created them. Um, but what I'm going to do is go and import a new one. Now what you need to have to prepare for this is you actually need to have the PSD file flattened where the image itself is going to be transparent. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So what I've done is I've just flattened it where, and I made it where the, the image itself is going to go as transparent all the way to the back. Um, you can keep the layers except it still needs to be transparent to the back wherever the image is going to go because everything else is going to layer over the top of that. So once you've done that, then you can go ahead and import your image. And so I'm just going to go find my image that I've prepared to import. And I'm just going to hit open and it's going to go ahead and pull it into ProSelect. You can see it's going to convert it for me. Um, so it might take a few minutes to do this. Uh, usually whenever I purchase a new template, this one happens to be from Design Aglow, but whenever I purchase a new template, I'll go ahead and, you know, it'll probably take maybe 30 or 40 minutes to convert them all. But that's going to save me hours and hours of work in the in the long run, especially if I'm purchasing album templates, because essentially I've just taken all of my albums and made them into drag and drop. So you can see it's imported it. I'm just going to hit select. Now it's going to put it right over the top. Now wherever there's gray, that's where you're going to be able to see the picture poking through. So I like to make it so that it's just barely covering my teal. And so I want to make sure that this one is going to be good all the way around. So I'm just going to make it like that. I'm going to save my changes and we are good to go. So now when I want to go create that image, all I'm going to do is go to my group 32, which is what I've just put it in. And here's the image that, that I've just created. I'm going to drag and drop my image in. I can go ahead and crop it, move it around. I can go ahead and add it to the cart just like I did before as a custom product. And when you do the same thing that you did before, it's going to export it with the design right on the top. Now you could do a lot of other super cool stuff, and I'm going to talk about that in a separate video because otherwise this one's going to be way too long. So thanks for listening.